Today, my brothers and I are on the hunt to find the best king cake in Acadiana. We will be sampling every king cake we could get our hands on in our city and rating them from S for the best to E for the worst. At the end of this video, we will have found which bakery has the best king cake. Hope you're hungry. Let's go. Where you at, crew? Ah, hey. It's your boy. Jeez. What? Too much? Yes! Where you at, crew? It's your boy, Trey. And today, I'm here with my brothers, Cameron and Kyle. And today, we're going to be rating king cakes. But unlike ESPN, we will not be ripping these cakes to shreds. Contrary to popular belief, the goal is to not get the baby. Here's a little history on the tradition. King cake comes from the biblical story of the three kings who brought gifts to baby Jesus. A blend of coffee cake and cinnamon roll, king cake is usually iced in purple, green, and gold, the colors of Mardi Gras, and is frequently packed with fruit fillings and decadent cream cheeses. Hidden within these seasoned sweets also lie a special surprise, a plastic king cake baby. As New Orleans tradition goes, whoever gets the baby has to buy the next king cake, which is why this video from ESPN was so hard for everyone in Louisiana to watch. When the ESPN broadcast College Game Day live in Baton Rouge, they were given a king cake, treated to one, and they did this screaming, where's the baby? Y'all, somebody what? call the they cops. Here are the rules for the video. We have a spinning wheel that has all the store's names on them and some other choices. Each of us will take a turn to spin the wheel. When the wheel lands on a store name, that is the king cake we all try. Other choices include spin again and brother's choice. If the wheel lands on spin again, whoever spun the wheel will spin it again until it lands on a store's name. The wheel lands on brother's choice. Whoever spun the wheel gets to bypass the rules and choose the next store's king cake that each of us will try. We will repeat this process with all three of us until we try every king cake. While we will eat one piece, we will give our impressions of the cake itself and give it a ranking on our tier list. S being the very best and E being the absolute worst. But there's a catch. If one of us gets the baby while we try the king cakes, there will be an unfortunate punishment for that person. Now it's time to make the first spin to see which cake we get to try first. Should I do a big spin or a little spin? Big one. Yeah, big one. What did it land on? Oh, foods! Uh oh. Whole Foods King Cakes are baked in house daily at their Louisiana stores. Whole Foods, all right. National chain. Well, let's see. I'll try Whole Foods King Cake. I gotta uh, keep my water with me because I don't be eating sweets like this. So let's see. Yeah, none of us really do. God, no! First impressions? I'm scared. Maybe I just want to answer my question. First impressions? You didn't do it. What, you hate yours already? <laughs> All right, let's see. It, it, it tastes better than it smells. Mm. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, honestly, it's better than I expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's no for me. I just don't want. <laughs> Sugar, like syrup or something. 
it is soft. Yeah. So I'll give them that. So what do y'all rate? Yeah, I agree. It's soft, but it could it could have risen a little more. If you had a pinch and you just late for, you know, Mardi Gras, you know, you might not ever come to the party again, but you can punch a try. Right? So if you got the baby the last time, and now you gotta buy the next cake and you bring this, you got the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> So for Whole Foods, I give it a, let's see, I'm trying not to be too mean, but no, I, I'm going to have to be mean. I give it an E. E. I say D tier. D tier? Yeah. You will eat this again. Grudgingly, but yeah, I'll eat it. So. Does the knife stay in the box? For this one? The knife going the same. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to clean this up and then come spin for the next cake. So, oh, damn. I'm oh. still drinking water because my mouth just ain't right after that. Bruh. I don't know what happened after taste. I don't know. I told you. I didn't believe you, but. All right, Kyle, it's your turn. You get to spin. All right. Come on, let's go. Village Dill. Oh. Village Dough offers a variety of sweet and savory treats, including donuts, collages, biscuits, stuffed breads, and king cakes. They have three locations in the Acadiana area. This is the most interesting king cake I've seen. It is topped with chocolate icing and Oreo. Good. So I can't even get nothing good right now. I gotta sit this one out. Yeah, you gotta sit on that. So, <laughs> come on, Cameron, celebrate. See, Cameron and Kyle is so excited to try the Village Dough uh, king cake. But I can't have it because I'm allergic to chocolate. I know, that sounds terrible, and it is. But um, I'm going to have to just watch them enjoy it. All right, see, they got their cake. Now, in terms of presentation, this is not the best. You, you don't think so? No. They don't look that appetizing? Yeah. So, so y'all know, this has chocolate on the top and Oreo. And Oreos crumbled on top of it, which I've never seen that in a king cake before. And what's in the middle? Just cream cheese. Okay. He is hoping one of y'all get the baby. All right, wait, hold on. Wait, try it. Do the same time. Okay. Go. Hmm. Hmm. Did it live up to y'all expectations? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I expect it to be adequate, and it's far above adequate. I mean, it's kind of hard to go wrong with chocolate. Yeah, but there's I will chocolate. Buy it again. There's a chocolate and there's a cream cheese, but they don't like they don't overlap on each other. It's sort of it's balanced. Well, maybe I should try it so I can put almost get die away in the from title. here. <laughs> Is you trying to die? I could put it in the title. You didn't know. No, it, we ain't like that. <laughs> we don't be like them YouTubers. Long story short, he's allergic to everything. Basically. Not everything. I mean, almost everything. <laughs> yeah, it's not too sweet. It could, the, the cake part itself could be a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's still good. It's alright. So is it dry? Mm-mm. It's a little dry. No, it's not it's like, fine for me. But yeah. Was it, it worth the drive down? Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. To the country. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, it's worth the drive to the sticks. Yeah. That's tier. That's tier. Mm. I'll say B tier. It's fair, but it has room for food. 
All right, we're gonna get set up and see which one we get to eat next. All right, now we back. It's Cameron's turn. Let's see what you come up with. Yeah. I'm not gonna be biased, but please don't let it be Walmart. Please. I need something good in this thing. You gotta spin again because it's village dope. And no, y'all can't have another piece right now. <laughs> Ricky Meshes is known for their unique take on king cake. Instead of baking their cakes, they fry them and glaze them like a donut. They say this makes the cake more flavorful. The first thing I noticed besides the cake being fried is that it doesn't have the traditional purple, green, and gold sugar on it, but instead has replaced that with icing. To say my brothers and I are eager to try this would be an understatement. We have lived in Louisiana our whole lives and have never had a fried king cake. All right. So for this round, we finally got the one I think that all of us have been looking forward to trying since we've never had this one. This one is a fried king cake. But there's a twist on this round. We had our mom put the baby in one of these slices and then mix them up. So we each, of course, don't know which one the baby is in, but hopefully it ain't in mine. Or mine. <laughs> or mine. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Don't break the plate, man. These plate. <laughs> Ooh, that fire. It's pretty good. That's a good king cake. It don't really taste like a donut. I thought it would. I mean, it does to me. But not, not like... 100%. Yeah. Subtle. Huh? I said it's subtle. <laughs> the only difference is I wish it was a little more cinnamon. But other than that, it's pretty good. Pretty fluffy. It's not as sweet as the other two, which is a bonus for us because you don't want the sweetness yeah, to be overpowering. You don't want it to be too sweet. Yeah. Okay, now for the million dollar question. Who got the baby? Yeah, because I ain't found it yet. <laughs> and we will not rip it apart to find it. I'm going to fucking find it to be. <laughs> <laughs> You got it? Shit! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, wow. I didn't think Cameron was gonna get it. I swear, I just thought with my luck, I was gonna be the one to get it. This man ain't even fucking right. What should his punishment be? Well, considering that this whole experience is pretty sweet, maybe Cameron should look forward to something sour. <laughs> Stay tuned for the punishment. All right, y'all. We're going to spin again and see which one we get next. I guess it's back to me, right? Mm-hmm. Shit. So for me, I rate Meshes an A. I would rate it an S, but I'm just partial to Gambinos. I grew up eating Gambinos at every birthday, and now that they got the wedding cake king cake with their birthday cake in the king cake as the filling that's just i already know it's gonna be s tier for me so this one's gonna be a this one's gonna be a for me while well, i put it down all the way down to d because i got the baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's unanimous i think it's a for me too nice bit of sweet and nice sweetness not too sweet not too plain. Could be 
gives a little more cinnamon. That's the only thing that's keeping it from S. But other than that, it's very, very good. Thank you. A New Orleans-centered business from the very start, Gambino's grew out of Big Easy traditions and a local's home. In the early 1920s, Beulah Lettner began baking out of her uptown kitchen on Lower Line Street. Her treats became a fast favorite of Tulane and Newcomb students and faculty and grew both her name and her baking business beyond the four walls of her home and into a location on Claiborne. Known as the Doberge Queen of New Orleans, Beulah invented the classic Crescent City cake and became a baking legend. Her bakery made the perfect marriage in 1946 when Beulah decided to sell her retail location and recipes to a man named Joe Gambino. Gambino began operating the bakery, which remained named the Beulah Lettner Bakery, and stayed local to Beulah's creations. His pastries and cakes quickly gained notoriety in New Orleans, and in 1949, he decided to reopen the bakery under his name, thus becoming Joe Gambino's Bakery. His uptown business quickly expanded, allowing him to open multiple locations throughout New Orleans into the surrounding suburbs, and eventually spreading into Southern Louisiana. Thriving through the end of the 20th century, it wasn't until 2005 that Gambino suffered a setback. Hurricane Katrina buried all of the New Orleans locations beneath 10 feet of water, and Gambino's was forced to close several of their stores. But the Gambino name persisted through the devastation, reopening stores in Metairie and continuing to serve New Orleanians the cakes and treats they had become famous for. Growing up in New Orleans, my brothers and I had Gambino's cakes for every birthday celebration, and to this day, I still get my birthday cake from them. Gambino's currently has locations in Metairie, Gretna, Baton Rouge, and Lafayette. Today, we will be trying their wedding cake flavor king cake, which has their almond cake recipe as the filling inside the king cake. All right, y'all, we back, and we got our wait. Gambino's wedding cake. Oh, oh, wait, you didn't get your one? No, I didn't. I thought you were bringing it. Camera brought it for you. Oh, that's sweet. All right, now we're back. Now we got Gambino's. Y'all ready? Yep. Now this is a new flavor they're doing this year, right? The wedding cake? I think it actually started last year, but this is our first year having it. Very good. Feels off. Has to. Yes. This is by far the softest one. Yeah. And it's just so rich. Yeah. This is my favorite. It's rich, it's very soft, you can tell it's a king cake, but it also has the wedding cake flavor in abundance. So yeah, I would agree that this is a nest. Yeah, meals, they always do their thing, especially with different flavors. Mm -hmm. So, I say yes. I think this was the fastest one we rated, huh? Okay. Now, for the second to last spin. Yep, second to last spin. Whole food. <laughs> nope. No, okay. Never. Never Not again. Ever. Well, I guess I should say second last bit. This will be the last bit. Because after this, then we'll do some other. Okay. Brothers pick. Okay. I'm not going to choose, because we only got two left. Yeah. So I'm not going to choose to eat Walmart. I'm, I'm still trying to have an open mind, but I'm, I'm not hopeful. Yeah. So, who parts it is?
When Mardi Gras was celebrated in Lafayette this week in 1967, a new carnival tradition was born. Master baker and chef Francois Poupard and his wife had immigrated from Bordeaux, France in the 1960s and settled in Lafayette, finding themselves at home and frequently speaking their native language with locals. In 1967, the couple founded Poupart's Bakery and brought a little bit of the old country to their new hometown. Poupart's is one of the few bakeries to sell traditional French king cake. It consists of a layer of thick almond cream sandwiched between two circular layers of light flaky puff pastry. Today we will be trying their strawberry cream cheese king cake. All right, now we're back and we got our Poupart's uh, this is strawberry cream cheese. Strawberry cream cheese. I never had the two together. Yeah. But we'll see. I don't really like cream cheese, but we'll see. This is supposed to be authentic French king cake. Silk, I would say. Oh, um, well. I think what you're tasting is the almond. That don't yeah. go well with no pancake. Why would you do that? Like real? I don't want to swallow it. Like real? I kind of fucked with it. Yeah. Really? That's surprising. Ain't it? I think it's good. I think it's light. It is. But the thing that is holding it back for me is the icing itself. The glitter, the other glitter, is not it. What I don't really like, I would say, is the strawberry in there. No. I am a fan of, like, the fruit fillings, but I don't know. It just didn't go well with this one. But I think it's a good. I would put it, I would say B tier. All right, so what do y'all give it? Anything lower than D? <laughs> I mean E. E. That's, that's the worst. Yeah, I would think this this is this is this is the worst so far. And it's disappointing worst too because the cake is good. The cake part itself is fluffy. It's nice, but the the ice it's bitter. Uh huh. It is if kind you of got good. the baby and you bring this the next time, <laughs> I'm throwing this in your face. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Because this is ridiculous. Throwing it in your face and cursing your ancestors. Okay, so if this was the only king cake, would you not have king cake? Yes. Yeah. You would skip the whole Mardi Gras season um, with no king cake. No, well, the holiday <laughs> is more about the cake. It's more about the king cake. Yeah, it, no. It's not <laughs> that much about the king cake. So if I had to do without this, this one, I'm fine with it. I'm sorry, Poo Poo. But uh this this is not good. <laughs> oh man. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. Alright, who turn is into spin? Well we don't have to spin the whole hop. No, we don't. This so the inevitable is here. Oh. Lord help me. Not Walmart. Not Walmart. All right, y'all can go ahead and finish the video. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. No, no, suffer. We are in this together. <laughs> you stay here. Walmart King Cakes are made in Florida and shipped to their Louisiana stores. And that's all I have to say about that. That's not a good sign. <laughs> that is not a good sign. Oh, you lying. This thing cracked the plate. Yeah. All right. Let's take the plum. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Look, dry. I, is I, just, you. Oh, I don't know. Why is the oh, ice so uh, thick? Uh, uh. Now, why is it so. Oh. Now, now presentation wise. No. Now, presentation wise, I would say this I is the worst. I can't cut it! What? I can't cut the shit! Oh, no. Oh, man. I 
cannot force myself to eat this. Well, you don't have to. Okay, all right. No, you no, no, you get you get a full piece. Can I do a squid with bite? No. No. <laughs> oh my! I tried to chew it. My teeth will not go through it. Uh, why is it lemony? Yeah. Why? What? Mm. Mm -mm. Did it say, uh. say lemony on the bottom? I can't even swallow that. You say cream cheese on the bottom. Oh, this is not cream cheese. Mm -mm. Damn, damn, cream cheese, man. Lemon? Oh. If it was cream cheese, it would have had to have been. Walmart. Yeah. Lemon? I mean, there's probably other. Oh. There's probably other places who can do lemon better, but Walmart is not one of them. Lemon don't go lemon. Nah. Simple. Full disclosure. I will say, I thought this cake was going to be trash. But I was trying to be fair. But then when I bought it and I looked under the box, and the tag said made in Florida, I knew it was going to be trash. Because you can't make king cake outside of New Orleans, or really outside of Louisiana, and it, 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 it'd be good. So. <laughs> it don't want to move. Oh no! Tell Why? Else is under the box. Why? Not not me. Oh, I'm gonna get the baby off this nest ass cake. A round of applause for me not being the only one who got the baby. <laughs> Yay! Oh man, two drinks. That's a weapon. Yep, it two really drinks. Is. Hey, no, 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 no. Uh uh. No, the baby wants his mama. That's uh -uh. his mama. I'm not the that's baby. That's it. No, that's it. Yes, you are. No. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you ain't the daddy no more. <laughs> You call him CPS? There you go. Yeah, Kyle. We can't waste food here. Hey, no. That's your. I, I made that point, but not this, not not to this degree. <laughs> oh, you, all right. you, you can't eat village dough or mesh or gambino till you eat that. Nah, I'm, well. I, no. Let me go get my Gambino so I can fix my mouth. Oh. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs> water. That's why I need water. We did not rank Walmart because we were distracted with just how bad it was. But it's safe to say it's an E for all three of us. I smell like wheat bread. <laughs> After going through this process, the three of us have agreed that Gambino's has the best king cake. And well, Walmart is Walmart. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Peace.
Hello guys, so we are here, and we are now going to watch these two accept their punishment of just the know, nasty shake. Just know that there will be more punishments coming on my channel, and next time you gonna be the one to get it. Yeah, dude, I'm prepared for that. <laughs> are you ready? No. Are what you ready? <laughs> Hell no. Why he won't tell us what it is? Life. It's pain. It's probably just almond milk. Even that's nasty. <laughs> well, I'm not a monster. I don't want to kill you. I don't know about that, y'all. I mean, Kyle's a middle child. He's had beef with me and Cameron at separate times. He might be trying to get rid of us, Cameron. Oh, oh believe me, I have grievances, but I'm way past that. I'm way past he that. He says so reassuringly. All right. I have the weakest stomach in the world. So we're about to see what's about to happen here. Which is why it is a small amount. Now, in my footage, I had a full glass, but they talked me down to this full glass. No, I was not drinking no full glass of poison. Life is better when you have shots. All right, camera three. Why is it chunky? <laughs> I mean, it could be chunkier. It's pretty liquidy when you see when you think about it. I see chunks on the side of this fucking All right, three, two, one. Mm -mm. Oh, God. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't even know why I put that in there. <laughs> oh, you bitch. Hey, you should be proud. Your man's, your men of your word. Mm -mm. It ain't going away. <laughs> you would rather be a lie. I need something with flavor. What the fuck? Now I'm gonna have to eat a pound of icebreakers. What the hell did you put in there? <laughs> I tasted like. That was Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, yeah. This is this better idea. What do you think was in it? I know freaking ranch was in there. Mm hmm Which I don't want unless it's on a salad. And it had to be Worcestershire sauce. Mm-hmm. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Got me fucking drinking coffee creamer. Mm hmm That's the worst. No. It well, I hope y'all enjoy. Hey, and so. stay tuned for Kyle's demise. No, I'm gonna get his no, no, oh, no, they, they don't mean This that. is the most pettiest person in the world. So rest assured, Kyle is gonna get his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey man, as long as it don't hurt, so I'm getting you something that's gonna be your happy ass. <laughs> now, Trey got two of the ingredients. Two of the ingredients, right? Now, the full ingredients are hot sauce. Worcestershire, Ugh. mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, ranch. And you know I don't like mustard. Pickles, pickle juice, and what else? Oh, yes. Top it off with a little garlic powder. Garlic powder? You're paying my copay for the ER. I just want you to know. Well, the idea was it's a savory drink to go with the sweet experience that we have with the king cakes. That wasn't sweet. That was not savory. You could have grinded this crap up and put it in there. I would have. Yeah, it would have been a, a good punishment to eat a whole piece of that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, this is better. You had no idea what was going to happen. Gonna happen. Alright, y'all. Well, that's the end of our King Cake video. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Kyle was in trouble. Excuse me, man. Bye. You want this one? <laughs> or you want green?